black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. I y'all rocking the walk today. That's Manchu walk, Fu Manchu walk, <laughs> which would indicate I went to the mall. Okay, so I went to the mall for the first time in what feels like an eon or eons, eon. But really probably a year, year and a half, I feel like I've just ordered everything off the internet for the past ever. And, uh, you know, going to the mall is an adventure, but uh, they do have Manchu walk. So I have noodles, a spring roll, a chicken egg roll. We got beef and veg and we got orange chicken. We also have our white guy challenging eating weapons known as chopsticks. But I brought a backup emergency fork just in case it gets a little too difficult. On the side, a polar pop, right? I get these when I'm cruising. It's the best. We're having a polar pop. We're having a sip. It's Barks Root Beer, full sugar, the best ice, and it's nice. 89 cents. The perfect little cubes to chew. I should really get into the ice business, I do believe. One quick question. Do we like wings, sweet and sour sauce? Like, do we like this, like, plum sweet and sour? I don't. That's why I always get this, the cups of the red sauce. Now, this red sauce here is from my fridge. It's like a, uh, what's the brand? VH or something like that. It's uh, not the greatest, but it's all right. Anyways, a spring roll. I've never had one from Manchua. Let's find out. Very standardized. A little phyllo-y dough. And some veggies. It's pretty good. All right. The attempt is working. This is orange chicken. And it's good. They had honey garlic and orange. And I was like, you've had honey garlic too many times in your life. So we went with the orange. It's good. It's got a nice, you can definitely taste that orange citrus in it. So why did he go to the mall when he doesn't really like to go to the mall? Slides, slippers, flippers, floppers, whatever you want to call them, sandals, <laughs> flip flops. Um, my pair I just wanted to see what the inside was like for a second. My pair that I've had for I want to say like 10 years, 8 years the stitching on the side was slowly but surely coming back and back and back and then the one finally busted off so they were toast just a beef, black pepper beef. So they were toast. I love slides in the house, house sandals, house footwear. Just even when you gotta run up to the yard and shit, you know? So, I looked on Amazon and I didn't want to order something, have it come, not fit right. Footwear is a finicky bitch. So, I was like, I'm going to have to take my ass <laughs> into public and go try on some slides. So I did. Got a nice little Adidas pair here. Here's the box. 50 bones. Just the most simple version I could find. I don't like too noisy of slippers. I don't like too loud of footwear in terms of like, you know, the logo and the, the design and the colors. A 
It's just black and white for me. Maybe I'll bust them out here and give you a, a look-see at what I'm talking about. One moment, please. Just these guys. Super simple. As simple as it can get. My old ones were all just pretty much flat black, but yes, a very simple slide. Now in shoes, I usually take an 11. In flip-flops, sandals, whatever, I take a 10. Cause there's nothing worse. than wearing too big sandals. You're slipping. You're sliding. Maybe that's why they call them slides. Because you slide them on. You're blistering. You know what I mean? They don't work. They hurt. They suck. And it's just not a fun adventure. It's kind of like the mall experience. It's a little uncomfortable. It's not the best, it's not enjoyable. And the reason why that is, is because I know it's customer service and shit, but I just, you gotta like ward people off. I'm trying to help you, trying to sell you shit. It's like, I'm just on my mission, man. Like. I know where I'm going. I know what's up. So, that aspect of it, and then just like every story, hey, how are you? <laughs> like, I would rather do this from my bed and not talk to anybody. But it is what it is. Um, the other interesting thing about the mall is you go to the mall and you realize like over decades mall people have never changed still your same crowds you got like the lifers who just love going to the mall they just go there to like sit in the food court walk around do not much get out of the house or something. And then you got the people who <laughs> cruise around in like Uggs and sweatpants and like halter tops with like the boyfriend who's also in sweatpants and like, s and slides. <laughs> and they're just cruising, like they're just in full comfort clothes. think at least this still happens you got the tweenies who are we I used to do it we used to do it you like try to look good like you get your cooler clothes on and then you go meet up with these girls and they're just getting into like makeup and getting like an ear piercing <laughs> And they're all just cruising around, like, flirting with each other, basically, hanging out at the mall for a Saturday or Sunday. Like, that's the jam, is to con congregate at the mall and flirt with each other. So, that's the mall in a nutshell. Also, you see the guy working at uh, Champs which is a shoe store who somehow looks the exact same now, 25 years later, when he started working at Champs. There's this guy I saw him today. He was a legend at Champs. Like he's just, he's the guy that was at Champs always. My whole entire 
um, younger life, he was the guy to be known to work at Chen House. He's just, that's, that's who it was. Went in today. Did a lap, did a loop, looked around himself. Out of the corner of my eye, caught him. He's in the middle of the store doing stuff. I was like, you better own this place at this point. <laughs> Because you've been a champ. For quite literally, I'm saying two decades for sure. So if he doesn't own it by now, but he did something wrong, I guess. I don't know. He'd been there for time. And he still looks pretty much the same. Blew my mind. You ever see those people? Like, how have you not changed at all? It's like, does time not exist for you? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I was there. I saw Manchu walk. I got sucked in. I said I wouldn't mind playing Manchu walk. And to just chop it up about my little <laughs> weird adventure, my little weird flies adventure. What I will say is this, Manchuac, it looks way better than it is. Like you see it when you're there and you're like, that could be good. And then you get it and you realize it's very just okay. <laughs> Nothing special, pretty flat in flavor, decent, but it's just, it's middle of the mall food you know what I mean it's just it's never going to be exceptional so um like going to the mall isn't very exceptional neither is the food or Manchuac I guess in general <laughs> that's what I'm really trying to say but it's decent however this plate was 20 bucks for all that so I don't know what do you think do you like to wear slip do you like to wear sandals with sweet and sour sauce in the heels Sometimes I do, okay? So, till the next one, the root beer is the best. You can live well and stay true. Stay out of the mall. Shop online. <laughs>